What do men get out of the project? Happy women. You don't get them in terms of ownership, uh, okay. You can't sell them, you know, trade in your 45 for a couple of 22s, you know, no. Uh, okay. Yes, sir. Natural confidence. When you know that gratifying, pleasing, a wonderful woman is no longer a challenge. It's just how you move through life. Men, what does that do to your sexual confidence? Okay? If you know you can give her more and better orgasms than she's ever experienced in her life before you even start the sex part, how are you going to feel when you're in the saddle? Relaxed, happy, playful, experimental. It's not a challenge. You don't have to worry about being compared to people because nobody else can make her feel that way. I mean, honest to God, guys go, geez, you know, you're teaching this openly. What's going to happen when everybody knows this? <laughs> it's like, A, it would be a good thing, okay? And B, I'm not as well known as you might think, <laughs> okay? My market is the entire English-speaking world, and we haven't actually accomplished that yet. So don't worry about it, okay? Actually, what is going to happen, those of you who are in committed couples, you're going to find that your communication improves incredibly. You're going to find that you're going to rediscover those feelings, those insights about why you got together in the first place, okay? Those of you who are seeing women more casually, Okay, friends with benefits, dating, whatever. You're going to find that not only do you get improved communication, you're going to find that you better be careful about who you do this work with. Why? You teach them how to feel and respond this way. It's unique. I mean, you, in the videos you see me talking about indescribably addictive pleasure. I didn't come up with this phrase. This is what the ladies tell me, right? And you've taught them how to do this. Where is the only place in the entire fucking universe she knows how to get it? You. Okay? It's our for free Build a Better Stalker program. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay? <clears throat> Honest to fucking God. You really want to put some moderation into this, teach them that they can, in fact, experience it. That's why you see me teaching them so that they all have triggers and they can just fire it off whenever they want. Okay? They can use it to enhance an experience or a relationship they're in. They can do it to have one hell of a hot Saturday night sitting by themselves, don't even have to shave their legs. I mean, it's theirs to own. Okay? What else might men get out of this? Being comfortable with power. Okay? As modern men, well, I'm going to be talking about this for, for our MGM crowd on Saturday night. Modern men are pretty fucking disappointing when it comes to being comfortable with power. We've had it bitch slapped out of us, okay? We're being taught, no, don't do that, it's not correct. And once you finally get that mindset, and you're sensitive and politically correct, you find out that women aren't interested in you, mm, right? Totally fucked up. This is what happens when you let academics try to drive culture, mm, okay? I, I, I'm a recovering academic, so I know wherever I speak. Okay, becoming comfortable with power. What else? Primal sexuality. Okay, most guys confuse having a dick and being one. Okay, <laughs> <clears throat> we want you to be relaxed, powerful. We want just as just the same as we do for the women. We teach the women that their sexuality should fully inform their entire life. Nothing to be ashamed of. It should be incorporated into every thought, every emotion, every action. Why not? <clears throat> You're born to be wonderful, gorgeous, desirable creatures. May as well go ahead and do it. Right? And for men, <clears throat> well, we're going to cover this on Saturday night. Let me just say that there is a path back. Okay? And we need it.